going to show you this amazing lapse, time lapse video. In just a few hours, you can see the incredible dump of snow in Hamden, Connecticut. Imagine trying to dig out from underneath that. More than 11,000 people land in emergency rooms every year due to injuries from shoveling snow. And ABC's Gio Benitez joins us now from Hartford, Connecticut, to look at the exhausting chore ahead for so many. Good morning, Gio. Good morning, Viana. You know, we've been talking about 36 inches of snow in Hamden, Connecticut, but here in Hartford, take a look. This is just a whole lot of snow. And one of the other big problems is that whiffing wind. It, literally, the wind is painful. And so all roads here in Connecticut shut down right now. In Connecticut, a state of emergency. If you don't currently have a reason to be on the road, if you're not an emergency personnel that's required to report to work somewhere, stay home now. A warning in hopes of preventing scenes like this, the aftermath of a tractor trailer accident on snow swept I-95. But some residents are braving the storm to fill up their gas tanks before supplies run out. I'm on my way home and they figured it's a smart thing to do. We have a generator, a lot of people don't. They're not getting any trucks or anything until uh, after the storm and that could be till Sunday. Across the state, 235 National Guard troops are helping with roads, health and welfare checks and emergency transportation. As emergency crews try to get through, officials don't want them to hit heavy traffic like this. Some 800 state and private plow crews are out in force clearing out roads and that's no easy task in weather this rough. A tough job. Tough job, yeah, but it's worth it, you know. Got to keep the got to keep the streets clean. This isn't even the worst of it and even our car got stuck in the snow in just no time. We got some help from road crews who no doubt have some of the toughest jobs right now moving the snow. Do you normally see snow like this? Wow, this is one of the worst ones I've seen. <laughs> one of the worst. Yes. And so right now, really, if you're in a car, just stay put because getting through these roads is just nearly impossible. In fact, a car's trying to get through right now. It's not happening. You know, here in Connecticut, more than 32,000 homes are without power. So not just on the roads, but also problems at home, Dan. Gio, thank you. Gio is really right out in the middle of that. Yeah, Great right. reporting. Thank you, Gio. Let's get it up to Boston now. And ABC meteorologist Ginger Z, our fearless weekend GMA meteorologist, she is right in the place, that the, the city that was really paralyzed in advance of this storm. How's it looking now, Ginger? Hey, you know, this is a meteorological or a meteorological dream to be standing knee deep in snow, but it is certainly a nightmare for so many other people. Uh, Sam mentioned that I've been running around like a crazy woman with this stick because it's tough to measure. Right now I'm seeing anywhere from about 16 to maybe 20 inches, so I'm going with a preliminary 18. For Boston to get into a historic snowstorm, top 10, they have to hit 18.3. No matter what they do, this is going to be unforgettable. Beantown temporarily silenced, strangled by a knockdown, drag out, full on nor'easter. Buried in almost two feet of snow, the fleet of 600 city plows is still out in force here in Boston. Overnight, people fought the incredible winds, visibility near zero for hours. For me, covering this level of storm requires a special chariot. What do I need to do? Right. Um, there's a lever right down this by little the little one. Yeah, that's the salt. Kevin says they can handle one to two inches per hour, but at times this storm was putting out more than five inches per hour. Boston Airport reported a 76 mile per hour wind gust. To prepare for this mess, <laughs> Boston Public Schools were canceled. Got a good ride on that last one. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Supplies were gathered. You should be prepared, you know. We never know what's happened. And the city and state, they did it right. Stay off the roads. Stay home. A rare edict. The streets cleared at 4 p.m. Friday. And that was not a choice. It's not often you get to stand in the city of Boston on a Friday night and have absolutely no one on the roads. They actually can't be on the roads. If you're caught here, it's a $500 fine or up to a year in jail. They don't do that that often, right? No, it's kind of surprising that everybody is getting off the road. But it makes your job easier. Yeah, a lot easier. A little easier for just one of the thousands that will be working to keep the millions of us safe, albeit frozen into a February I've weekend. I've got to tell you guys, covering this storm, 
Now I've got to tell you guys that covering the storm last night, late at night when those 60, 70 mile per hour wind gusts were coming in, it felt like little needles pelting me in the face. And you can get an idea of the drifts here as I walk along. It is very tough to get around the city of Boston this morning. Again, we'll look for coastal flooding to be one more surge of danger here throughout the morning hours because the tide comes up. But after that, the storm pulls away.